Hello everybody, I'm Ant, and today's Mellow Gaming Recommends is a bit of a special one. That's because, after just over 8 years of Mellow Gaming videos, this channel recently passed 1000 subscribers, and I thought what I'd do to celebrate that milestone was highlight a number of other video makers that are on their way to hitting that goal themselves. Getting to 1000 subscribers is one of those milestones I think most people dedicated to doing this YouTube thing look forward to hitting. 1000 is a big number. For some people they hit that mark super fast, but for others it can be a real slow process that can seem never ending. So let's help a few folk out by giving them a little bump in a positive direction, and watch their videos too because they're all good folks. Before we get into that, I'd like to just say a massive thank you to everyone that's watched, subscribed and shared Mellow Gaming videos over the years. Like I said, it's taken 8 years to get here and it feels like a pretty big deal, and I'll always be grateful that 1000 folk think these videos are passable enough for them to say, yeah, I'd like to see more. A big thank you to my Patreon backers too, who have been super supportive and have helped me get through the months, particularly the last few where I've been unemployed. Those extra few quids a month has covered me for a few days worth of food at a time, that means a lot. Thank you. This video will actually be in two halves. First will be the 5 channels under 1k subs that I like to watch and think deserve a bump. Some I've known for years and some are relatively new, but they're all cool folks. The second half will be a few other channels I feel are worth checking out. Mostly small ones, but a few of my favourite bigger channels may be in there. So let us begin. There will be links to all the channels featured in the video description. These aren't in any set order, other than the order I thought to include them in. First up is Bran Plays Games, who at the time of recording has 74 subscribers. Bran was one of the earliest guys on here that I got chatting through through video comments. If you think Mellow Gaming has chilled out Let's Plays, you've clearly missed Bran's. I cannot stress how relaxed his commentary is. Maybe this channel should have been called Mellow Gaming. Also, mine should have been called Games Play Terribly, but some other guys took that. Too late to switch them over now, besides there's about 15 channels called Mellow Gaming and one of them even pinched my logo. Bran has been making Let's Play vids for about 6 years on his channel, but recently he started making video essays about video game music. Bran made a decision to actually start a new channel just for these videos. The YouTube algorithm can be unkind to channels trying anything new, so I feel this was a super smart move. Bran has a real knack for talking about music in ways I've never been able to manage. The detail he goes into regarding the composer's influences and the structure they use is way beyond what I'm used to hearing on YouTube. I think a lot of us who chat about games on YouTube usually fall short when it comes to discussing one of the main driving forces in how a game feels. Music can be key to how a game feels and Bran does a great job conveying that. The new channel is called Press B, and it's so new it has just two subscribers. Let's get that changed, yeah? Mario has had similar bouts with jazzier tracks, with Super Mario 3D World's main theme giving the trumpet to center stage. Nothing about this game warrants a horn-based theme. Unlike the music of Super Mario Odyssey's grandiose New Donk City, which featured a big band arrangement for its playable metropolis, 3D World is more modest. But sound director Mahito Yokota noted that since the game's setting was terra firma, and not the magical planetoids of Super Mario Galaxy, the music of 3D World had to be rooted in replicating realistic live instrumentation. Not every channel on this list is going to be a gaming focused one, and I'd like to break the genre ice with flip scripts. This channel currently has 109 subscribers, and that's kinda criminal. This channel has only been around a year, and has only 12 videos covering interesting takes on nerd movies. His video on the war crimes of Optimus Prime is a must watch, as in 13 short minutes he looks at all the ways the leader of the heroic Autobots has broken the Geneva Convention. Other videos look at Kid Appeal characters, the rise of Harley Quinn, and why Metroid deserves to have a movie. It's been a few months since his last video so I hope he hasn't given up, but what is there is a series of well written and fun looks at films us nerd losers love so much. Give him a watch, and let's see the views and subs nudge in the direction they should be going. Megatron is literally struggling to even get his gun up before Optimus kills him, which he does by the way, in literally 10 seconds, and that's being completely generous. Now, is this deserved? Probably. Megatron was trying to enslave humanity, but it's in direct violation of the first Geneva Convention, Article 12. The wounded and sick shall not be murdered, exterminated, 
or subjected to torture or biological experiments. Optimus Prime, you committed a war crime. Gamers Garden is a real gem of a retro gaming channel. It currently has 818 subscribers, so is very much on the cusp of passing that 1k submark. The channel focuses on a mixture of the classic games we all know, and many you may not. His series of videos on home ports of Sega's Super Scalar arcade games is a must watch for fans of that era of Sega's arcade supremacy. In these videos he even manages to highlight a few ports I was never aware of. A recent video of his on a PS1 game called Hard Edge got me super invested in a game I had entirely forgotten existed and may have to look for a copy for myself. The quality of the editing and scripting is far beyond what you'd expect for a channel this small, but that can often be the case when it comes to smaller YouTube channels. It's tough getting seen on here and I feel Gamers Garden should be getting seen by a lot more people and should be one of the more well known UK based retro gaming channels. If you'd like to find out about some corners of classic gaming you may not know about, give the channel a look. My favourite element has to be the soundtrack however. There were a lot of great PS1 soundtracks, particularly in 98 and 99, so the standard was high in general, but Hard Edge sounds fantastic throughout, covering a huge range between electro and jazz, and we even have awful dialogue worthy of Resident Evil itself. I'll make them pay for what they did to our people. Our first priority is rescuing Professor Howard, not revenge, Michelle. Yeah, I know. Next up is the toku-loving Nielzebub. As you guys may know, I'm a bit of a tokusatsu nerd. You know, Power Rangers and the shows it's based on and influenced by. Guys in spandex and whatnot. Nielzebub is a super knowledgeable guy in the world of tokusatsu who specialises in looking at how shows like Super Sentai get adapted for western audiences. He currently has 695 subscribers and will only get stronger over time. I've been subbed to the channel for a couple of years now and his production skills and editing are always improving. What appeals to me most, other than the deep dives into the development of the shows and the real world lore surrounding the monsters of Mecha, is how he treats Toku as a fun thing to be enjoyed. He's enjoying the goofiness and embraces it with how his videos are presented with his morph form and his robot powered daijujin. He's not ranting about how much a show sucks or pouring negativity into the world. He's taking these goofy shows we love and just enjoying what they have to offer. More stuff like this on YouTube please. Telling me what you like and what appeals to you is far more interesting to me than tearing stuff down for clicks. So give Nielzebub here a sub and I'd recommend his video on the Chinese origins of the Thunderzords. Ryuseo's transformation into the mythical Chi Warrior also has some interesting trivia. It's actually designed to resemble Sun Wukong, or the Monkey King from Journey to the West. Though you may be more familiar with the more famous adaptation of this character as Sun Goku from the Dragon Ball franchise. The staff he fights with is similar to the Dairen rods the Dai Rangers use, but Sun Wukong's weapon of choice was a rod or a staff. Cassandra here is pretty new to the YouTube scene and has already amassed 465 subscribers in the space of about 2 months. Pretty great going. She started off posting some gameplay videos but before long she was setting up her camera and saying words at it about games she enjoys. Typically her videos are short and very concise reviews but she also sprinkles in a few Q&A videos to let people get to know her and help foster a little bit of a community. What I'm liking here is how well she packs in just enough info to justify her views on a game. I wish I could be this efficient with my words. I've seen her mention she'd like to do longer videos and I would totally encourage her to do that. No harm in pushing your limits after all. I'm sure as she builds up her confidence we'll see that happen. So if you want super concise classic game reviews without needing to commit a whole load of time, give Cassandra's channel a look. I'm sure she'll appreciate each and every one of you. I've died more times than I can count and some of my deaths were completely avoidable, which added to my frustration while playing through certain areas of the game. When you die, you lose all of your items and are left with a yo-yo as your main weapon. I've never rage quit or raged while playing a video game, but Star Tropics has me close to that point. I'll give another update when I finally beat it, whenever that may be. So for this part, I'm recommending a few other channels I like that have over 1k subs. Although there's a couple of exceptions. 
This is just a chance for me to share some I watch regularly that I feel deserve a little bump. These will be quicker suggestions and, as before, links will be in the description. First is two channels who have made guest contributions to episodes of Mellow Gaming Recommends. There's Under the Moons, who produces super high quality videos on game and film based subjects. There's always a little extra flair in his videos too. Custom 3D models, lower thirds and effects. Check out his video on Tales from the Loop for a prime example of this. Moons appeared in the Mellow Gaming Recommends episode covering what remains of Edith Finch, so check that out if you like too. It's my second most viewed episode of that series. The third most viewed episode of Mellow Gaming Recommends was on Link's Awakening and features this cool dude, Eric, from Game vs Game. Eric was one of the guys that got chatting to me on this site really early on, helping me feel a little less like I was swimming up against the tide on my own. Game vs Game is a series that focuses on games that are either multi-platform or share the same name and pitting them against each other to see which is the best. There's also a great episode about the various incarnations of Rainbow Road he did a few years back. Eric hasn't made a video for a while, but what is there is a veritable bounty of well-made and fun videos on classic games. And this next channel I'm including here because it'd be a little bit cheeky to recommend my brother's channel in the first half, because that's probably nepotism or something. My bro Matt got into doing YouTube Let's Plays focused on the game Space Engineers about 8 months ago and has already amassed 375 subscribers. If you like watching things being built and flowing about a bunch, give this a watch. His channel is called Soima Plays. I know it looks like you say Soima, but it's pronounced Soima because he used to call himself Soima Freak online. So there you go, won't get that fact on a Did You Know Gaming. Retro Drew was actually going to be featured in the first half of this video, but he only went and passed 1k subs a few days before I did, and thus made room for someone else to be featured. He focuses mostly on Super Famicom games that haven't been released outside Japan, usually in the form of quick reviews or pickup videos. Give him a watch if you'd like to see some retro games you may not see elsewhere. Although one channel you may see them on is Jimmy Happer's Import Gaming for the win. This Jimmy guy here has been doing YouTube for a few years, and is basically known by everyone in the retro gaming scene it seems. Probably for good reasons, but he'd likely dispute that. Ages ago I was wanting to cover RPGs but wasn't sure how to go about it, and then this guy comes along and just covers everything there is to know about the sewer coding games in loving detail like it's nothing. He even encouraged me to give it a go which resulted in the 50 minute long Disgaea retrospective video which is still my most viewed Mellow Gaming recommends. So repay that nudging Jimmy gave me by popping to his channel and giving him a nudge in views. This next channel is actually an old one that a little zombie birdie tells me will be rising from the grave very soon. Dead Real is a horror movie spin-off channel by That Dan from That Odd Pod. You know, the nostalgia channel with the puppets that has a film coming out soon. The channel currently has 583 subscribers, but I'm sure once it gets going again it'll be rising... I've already used rising from the grave gag. Um, summoning some subs? That sounds dodgy. Let's just say it'll do well. Now while we're on the subject of retro, I'm going to recommend UK Retro Zone, the show where anything retro goes. This Dan has been streaming on Twitch every Monday and Thursday over the last year, and has been doing a bloody good job of it. His YouTube channel still exists and is often used for showing some of the shenanigans from his Twitch streams, but also has a bevy of videos that are well worth a look through. I suggest the Pog retrospective, but also I suggest joining in on the Twitch streams for a jolly good time. This next channel is one that has single-handedly reinvigorated my obsession with Transformers toys after a good 15 years of basically not collecting them at all. Fuse Awesome Transformers Reviews is a channel YouTube kept recommended to me for months, maybe even years, and it wasn't until lockdown started a year ago that I gave in and watched, and watched and watched. I can't remember the last time I got so hooked on a channel. Fuse's approach to reviewing Transformers can best be described as a toy review meets stand-up comedy, his wordplay and witticisms are on a level most poets only dream of. I highly recommend giving a few of his videos a watch, even if you have no interest in Transformers, because they're worth it just for the sheer entertainment value alone. Also, he's been doing this for about 13 years and that's dedication. Also, get ready for some face melting metal. Lastly, I'm recommending my favourite good boys on all of YouTube, Corey and Troy of My Life in Gaming. Obviously, this channel doesn't need my help, they're super successful as it is. I just want to shout them out for providing some of my favourite videos about games, games tech, 
and the world of video quality improvement options. Always in-depth, detailed and some of the most well-produced videos around. Also I like the noises they use when inserting controllers and the like. Fun fact, I once provided some magazine scans for a video of theirs and, without even asking, they saw I had a channel of my own and linked it in the credits. I genuinely didn't expect them to do that. Super good lads. Although Troy did shame me in a Smash Brothers match on a livestream once. I beat Game Dave though. So that's a whole load of channels recommended there, hopefully there's a few you guys will like as much as I do. Sharing videos and suggesting other channels is really the only way to help a channel grow on here because man the algorithm rarely helps. Curated channels will always carry more weight than something seemingly decided at random by a bot. If you don't know, I always include a link to a video from a channel with under 1k subs on the end slates, so when you're done watching one of my vids you could always check out what I suggest there. While I'm signing off, I guess I should mention my two side channels. There's Reacting Sentai Yopper Ranger, a channel where myself and occasional Mela Gaming co-host Kev watch tokusatsu shows and have a jolly good time while drunkenly reacting to them. We've recently branched out to reviewing toku films on there too. My other side channel is called Ant Spot Collection, I only started this a few weeks ago and it's very much a channel for when I have an afternoon free. Here I review Transformer toys, I've clearly been influenced by that few I mentioned earlier. And to close out I want to say another big thank you to all you guys for subscribing, watching and sharing my videos over the years. By doing so you're all confirmed for being cool and cute and maybe even powerful, that's just facts. Another big name massive thank you goes out to my Patreon backers who are just all round great chaps. So that's all from me today, I'm going to get back to making the Mellow Gaming Recommends episode I was making before this, I'll catch you next time.